So, guess what I'm doing today, Missy? <laughs> <laughs> you are replacing the sink. I'm replacing the sink. Yay! So, I'm so excited. You better be excited. <laughs> So I'll do a little, I guess I'll do a little how-to. Yeah, why not? Kind of show what I do. Yeah. You know, Are you I, figure stuff out? Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to figure it out as we go. But Mama wants a new sink, and we've been planning it for how long? I don't know, years. <laughs> okay. We needed it. <laughs> now what? <laughs> now what? Makeup. You're such an artist. You're so You're sweet. a very talented You're artist. You're the artist. You're a talented artist. I just do the same thing every day. <laughs> you look a little white now. Is that just like a base coat or something? It just kind of wears off after a little while. Now what? Now what are you doing? <laughs> now I'm doing my eyeliner. This should be a tutorial on how to make your face. How to make my face? Oh, shoot. And now, <laughs> for my next trick. Now what? Are you done with your face? Mm, I need lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. So, back to the sink. Yeah. Did we get a black sink? Is that what you wanted? Yes. That's what we got. Yay! Yeah. And one that I can't break stuff on? <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't have the middle part that we typically break all our fine glassware on. Nice. All right, so finish up. Okay. All right, so here is what was a really nice sink once upon a time. It's a Americast uh, nice iron enamel coated sink. And uh, at some point not too long ago, this the uh, faucet broke and <clears throat> it was a, you know, it was that kind of faucet and I replaced it with this singular faucet that has hot and cold and has this kind of thing so I'm gonna keep that and I'm also gonna keep my water distillery here and uh, of course I'm gonna want one hole instead of four and or sorry two holes one for the faucet and one for the spigot for that distill so here's the explosion that is the underneath of my sink and the triad of pipes coming out which of course so gives uh, two drains and uh, this thing here and I'm going to pull this out I'm going to show you how I do that real quick I've got it disconnected I've got it unplugged and really what you need to do with these things is get your uh, screwdriver as if you'll be able to see this and put it in here in one of these rings and then I'm going to push that no I'm going to pull this way toward me and that will basically rotate uh, this this lock here on top that'll rotate that okay, how does this go like that you see that that uh, lip rotates up into there and to loosen it you rotate down and rotate counterclockwise and this will unscrew and it will release right there and the whole thing will drop out of there it's, it's pretty easy um, <coughs> to do and the rest of that is just gonna be I'm gonna pull the rest of that off and I'm gonna put that on the other sink let's look at the other sink yes it is an explosion now <coughs> this I like because it doesn't have the center divider. We never use the two basin concept where we don't soak dishes or anything. Um, we don't. We just don't use that extra bowl. So we're going to save this much space. You know, we're going without having that divide, you get a lot more space. So if you don't need a divided bowl, I recommend the single bowl. This is a a Frank or Frankie or however you say it, and it's a granite composite sink which basically is a molded sink. It's a composite of, uh, well, granite powder or, or grit and acrylic resin. So they're a very durable, um, scratch resistant sink. And these are knockouts. I'm gonna show you what that is real quick. 
you can knock these out if you want to they're they're sort of pre-drilled for you and uh, what I'm gonna do is tap a hole right in the center there I don't need that that big hole that that's that big all I need is a small hole a half inch for my, uh, my uh, spigot for my distilled water so there you go now I'm gonna have to rearrange the plumbing because my drains are here and here and I'm gonna block off this drain and I'm gonna probably rearrange this drain over to here so we'll just see how that goes and hopefully I can line up without too much trouble or rebuilding my whole situation under here I may end up having to come out off of that center one and block the other two off and uh, but we'll see all right so here we go so again this is disconnected and it's just sitting on there um, the, the, the plug is unplugged and I've like kind of untangled it from anything so I can just move this right out now I'm gonna grab this screwdriver that I have inserted and uh, rotate this out it's just about out of there So you're curious, uh, you want to know exactly what this what this apparatus is. Now, I'll try to demonstrate it to make it clear. This is how you put your uh, your garbage disposal in. You put this part down in your sink bowl, and this is your gasket. You might want to use some plumber's putty under here, um, and then this would be a tension ring that would go under your sink bowl. So your sink bowl will be, okay? And then this, you're gonna push your dispose, this is all underneath your sink. You're gonna push your disposal up to meet this and you're gonna lock this in to these, to these little teeth you, by rotating this, you see. Or sorry, by rotating this lower ring to come up and lock onto this. I hope that makes sense. It's really not that complicated, but you see right there, if I screw clockwise, that's going to go under that tooth there. And the same thing is happening right here, if you can see that. Let me try to zoom in a little bit. See that? This ledge is going under there. And you're going to use a screwdriver through these holes here. Uh, a long screwdriver, hopefully longer than this one. You slide it in here and twist like so. See that turning onto there? All right, and that's how you tighten that up onto there. And then you use these bolts to pressurize this ring to create that seal. To sandwich this this ring up and that every that locks everything together to your sink and that's pretty much it for for just you know the, that's in theory how a disposal is connected underneath okay so now down into this jungle I've turned off my cold water there and my hot water there and what I'm going to do is just pull up all of this with the sink I'm going to pull all of this out of here I've got to disconnect that which goes down here and into my filter here so i'm going to disconnect that and that's all going to come up out of there all right you got to be sure to turn everything off um you you know in this case my my distillery has to be turned off and my hot and cold <clears throat> okay so i have everything disconnected under there i have my door open and now i'm going to pull this sink out of here you may have clips under your sink that lock it into place. I don't have anything like that. Right, see that? Everything's coming with. Out of the way, tripod. Okay, so now I've uh, gotten the sink in to dry fit it. Um, it fits. It fits pretty good. It's a little bit smaller than the old one, and the hole was actually kind of a little bigger than necessary, but that's okay. Um, and you can see 
I'm pretty close so that I can just manipulate it. And now it's time to uh, drill a hole in one of the in the middle of that knockout for this. Let's see if I can do that without without knocking out the whole thing, which is this big. All right, so let's see how I how it goes drilling out the granite. And please don't ask me why there's a hockey puck on the sink. I can't couldn't explain that. Why are you in my truck, Mr. Dragon? Okay, so when you're ready to drill this hole out, that is when, if you have to drill a hole like this, that's when you will learn how durable this, this substance is. Um, it's really hard material. It, it's, it's definitely doable, but get yourself a new drill bit. Um, that took me a good four or five minutes to drill that through there and my bit wasn't new so all right so now I'm gonna get this uh, stuff this all put together and start piecing this sink together okay so here's a look at the back side of the sink the underneath and uh, you know I this is not a video on uh, how to put a faucet on but I'll go ahead and include this I didn't film taking it off but uh, you're gonna have to do this step by step this is the reverse of taking it apart, of taking it off. So first I want to get my washer, uh, this in this case rubber side up to meet with this, and feed the biggest parts through there first. Okay, there's one of my biggest parts. Let's get this other one here and uh, feed that through there. And that's my washer. All right, and then I've got to come, let's see, this is my sprayer. It's going to go through my washer here. That's to my sprayer. And what will happen is that washer will go up there, okay? And then I've got one more part before I connect my sprayer. Yeah. Well, I got, yeah, I've got one more part. This is the mounting piece. Let's do that the same way we did the washer. Okay, so I get my thickest parts through there. Alright. Now we're in business and it's that easy. Okay. This is, you don't want to cross thread this. That is your nut that's going to hold your your faucet in place. So that'll take you a while to screw that on. We'll tighten that up in a minute and there are some little uh, bolts that go up there to reinforce that if you want. Now I'm going to put together my uh, weight. This is the weight you want to have you want to have a weight on your sprayer. It's all common sense stuff. And it'll go, I'd say, a little more than halfway like that. But we can tighten that up in a minute. Still have my washer in there. And got to make sure not to cross thread these. And that'll go something like that. We'll tighten that up. So there I've got my whole assembly together and my sink is just about ready to put back in. I have my sink, uh, my old sink, upside down out here. This gives me a good opportunity to show the, uh, the parts to the garbage disposal. Now this is the under the sink uh, assembly to attach the disposal. I have a newer one here. To, this, can, this will help me illustrate what I'm talking about. Everything as far as Put, taking this off and putting one on is hinged on this. This is a lock ring. You see that? This ring goes around this lip here. And you can't see it as well on this because it's old and rusted. But uh, if I turn this around, you can see right there, that's where you would separate your ring. And you'll, uh, you'll need to unlock your, uh, your old ring like that. See how I've got that kind of unlocked? Maybe I can just lift it out of there now with any luck. You see that? 
There you go. Now I have freed that up and I can drop this. Yeah, that was easy enough. I can get this apart now. Okay. Okay, so here's the base of the sink. Um, and I've got my assembly here. You can see this is going to go over on the inside of the sink there. This is the the drain area and this fabric washer here it's like a, it's like a cardboard washer that's going to go underneath here I, earlier I think I said it goes in the top but obviously it goes against this surface here so you see your assembly you call how to take this retainer out of here it's pretty simple that's bear in mind that's a lot easier to do that than it is to put it back together upside down with nobody holding the back side. I'm going to take this part and put it over there, feed that through. Okay, so you see what we've got here. All three parts are going to go up over this. Okay, then you have to get these Post back in you know, position here. Well, you can tell I don't do this every day, right? Again, there's always a plumber. If you can leave it to a plumber, that would be best. Not all of us can afford a plumber for every job we have, right? Pay $300 for a sink like this. You're looking to save some money. All right, so we find the opening end. I'll face that towards me. And put the rest of it down and around. Let's see if I can't fudge this on here. Come on now. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just pushing the ends of that. Okay, so now we're on there. Okay, and the way <clears throat> the way that you're going to tighten everything up here is using these posts to drive this flange up against the base of your bowl. That makes sense. And you kind of want to, like a Christmas tree stand, you want to rotate, you know, like lug nuts. You want to go back and forth and try to screw them all the same depth, more or less. Tighten everything up. Okay basically how we do that and you just get everything snug so that's the base of my old sink and as you knew no I had uh, I had two different uh, drains on there and I'm switching to a single drain so what I've just done is I've, I've ripped that apart and stolen the rubber washer from underneath the far drain there and what I'm gonna do on second thought is use that for my drain. That's going to be instead of instead of plumber's putty under here, which I don't like. Uh, you know, I don't care if this washer gets a little bulky in here. That's the route I'm going to go because that's just not going to break down. So again, that goes through there. All right, and then this is the rest of my assembly. And you can adjust your ring, you know, you move everything around and uh, make sure you don't have too much ring sticking out on one side. I kind of have a little more on this side than I'd like, uh, so and a little, there's not quite as much sticking out. So I'll loosen it up and move that around until I'm satisfied. And again, I, won't, I don't have a problem with that sticking out a little bit. It's a lot better than the plumber's putty to me. Now to show you again how this connects, it's good lighting to illustrate this. I'm just going to, uh, well, see that, you see that tooth right there? I'll put that on that edge. Same for the other side, the back side. Kind of fit that all together. And just rotate that onto there. It's just going to snug it up just like that. 
and that is on. All right, easy peasy, and you can tighten that up. As as I showed you, put a, put something like a, a long screwdriver in there through this hole, and use that to torque it in tight. All right, what that's going to do for now. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, I am hello, sink, new <laughs> I sink. I know, it's so beauteous. Look at that. <laughs> we can just wash dishes and not clank them on the middle thing. And yeah. I bet we won't have broken glasses anymore. Good. Who knew? Well, I'm really close here. I just need to, uh, so this is how it turned out. I'm going to uh, adapt my drain. Not at all what I was thinking. <laughs> Forgot about my garbage disposal. But these two move in and out, and, you know, so I can easily make those two meet. I just have to cut this down here, take a couple inches out of that, so I can slip this down in. And hook everything up, close up, put a cap on this for now, because I don't want to cut it. There's nowhere to really cut that back there in case I want to have another double drain sink again one day. I know you're busy, but I have a funny. So, at this stage of the game, I'm ready to caulk my sink. You know, you have to put a bead of black caulk around. You notice how I'm saying that, around here? Uh -huh. So, guess what, I, guess what I hate to have to do? I'm what? going to a store out in the area that I don't know the stock in, and I have to ask for black caulk. So I literally have to go in there, and I, here's here's my plan. I'm not going to walk in there and say, hey, I need some black caulk. <laughs> I'm going to go in there and I'm going to say, I need some caulking that is black. <laughs> yeah, that's my plan. Okay, so as you can see, I'm connected here, and uh, I put my uh, shortened that pipe with a little coupler. I got my water distilling system back in place, and I've got the far side over there capped off. So I'm back in business. Oh, there's my that's my uh, dishwasher drain there. It goes. So, are you excited about your sink? Yes, I'm so excited. Thank you, Exo Man. You're welcome. Check Just it out. Lovely. Yeah. I love it. Look at this. You can like swing glasses around in here and they won't break. Well, I mean, unless you hit the sides, but. <laughs> oh, look, there's, there's no, stuff in there and I didn't even see it from over there's there. There's no middle part. What's the? The uh, cleaning stuff and junk in there. Yeah. Well, see? Can't even see it. Yeah. I love it. I'm sorry that you had oh. to work on that for. Oh, it was so no, long. it was no big deal. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. All right, so, it took me half a freaking day. Did you show everybody how to do it? Yes, I did a how-to video. Oh, you're so good. And I, oh, and Maybe I just you'll save somebody some time. I, uh, I was explaining in the video that I put a rubber gasket under here, uh -huh. which I then cut away so that it wasn't elevated, uh -huh. so that the water goes down, flows over it, oh, you're so sweet. and it worked out. So, did you get your black cock? Instead of. <laughs> <laughs> Let us not ask these We're like Beavis questions. and Butthead. <laughs> <laughs> she said that. Um, so yeah, I cut that away. And it's good. All I did was take a knife and just cut around it. So that I got all the extra material off of there. And, then, and one thing I want to tell people who watch the how-to video. Go ahead and replace your hoses underneath. I had a real problem with mine. And I, I just ran to the store and got new. Might as well, since yeah. you have new everything else. Why not get it? You know, those hoses are, you're, you're supposed to be able to replace them. I mean, I mean, take them on and off 
when you change fixtures and they'll be good, but it's, they don't it's last. It's like 12 bucks, right? Yeah, it was 12 bucks for two hoses. So I replaced those. Anyway. Smart. Back in business. Farm Girl's happy. I'm Yay, happy. And it is a lovely thank thing. And a round of applause for you. <laughs> <laughs> and we do love the no no divider thing. That just works. Yeah, it's That awesome. works for us. Huh? It's so much better. Yeah. yeah. Much more space. And we'll have... And show me how so you break the wine glasses. <laughs> No, <laughs> I just broke the glass just on the what, divider. Fifteen minutes ago. Yeah. So I knocked it off from up here. Okay. It was an accident. All right. So. Actually, I don't think that I did it, but Peace it out. happened, and I was here. <laughs> Love your suit. Let me see your suit. Thank you. Yeah. Spin. Beautiful. Okay. Cool. Peace Thanks. out. Say goodbye. <laughs>